Welcome back to Goldshaw Farm. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between ducks and geese. But before we do that, I got to start pumping water for all of my ducks and geese. So the behavior that you guys are seeing right now are the ducks trying to strengthen their wings so that they can fly. These ducks are about six or seven weeks old, so they're pretty much full grown at this point, pretty close to it. So they're gonna hang out for just at least a little bit longer while they get just a little bit older and a little bit more mature. I actually had to put this fence up because uh, they were getting into mischief and disappearing and I was always having to go on a wild goose chase to find the ducklings. They're still trying to figure out how all this works. Come on. Nope, you're going the wrong way. You doofus. You doofus. Come on. Nope. Keep going, keep going. Come on. No, don't, don't try to go through this. In here, in here. There you go. See, your friends are right over there. No, 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 no. There you go. They're still maturing, and I'm still trying to finalize the determination on gender, but I'm pretty sure I have two males and two females. So um, this one right here, this khaki Campbell right here, I think that's a female because she's quacking. This khaki Campbell right here, I'm pretty sure he's a drake because he's not quacking. He's a little bit bigger than this, this other one, and he's also pretty aggressive. Like the other day, while I was hanging out with the ducks and the barn cats over by the water hydrant, he actually was watching Pablo, and Pablo was watching the ducks, and he watched him a little bit and then decided to walk away. And then the minute that Pablo walked away, that little duckling actually went after Pablo and tried to bite him in the butt. I had to like intervene and make sure Pablo just didn't like rip him to shreds. So he's a really gutsy little guy. Allison's nicknamed him the spicy duckling. As far as the Pekins go, I'm pretty sure she's a female because she's also quacking. And I'm pretty sure that this guy right here, this one, the white one, he is a drake because he's only rasping, doesn't seem to quack. If you guys remember back when we first got the ducklings, this one right here was the weird looking duckling, the one that had all the missing uh, fluff. As you can see, it's grown in pretty nicely. So I used to think that ducks and geese were pretty similar and there weren't that many differences. But as we've been keeping ducks and geese here on our farm over the last couple of months, I've realized that there are some very distinct differences between the two types of animals. Look at those little ducks. They are on a slug hunt right now. They love to go through the bushes and eat some of the weeds, eat some of the grass, and eat all the bugs that they can find, especially in the early morning. Oh, by the way, I wanted to take a minute to say thank you to Sandra. She sent me this uh, bug repellent um, it's, I guess, based on al almond oil, and uh, I've been finding that it works really good and it smells really good. She also sent Allison a pair of homemade earrings, which were beautiful. So uh, thank you, Sandra. We really appreciate the, the care package. It, it means a lot to us. Thank you. Ducklings, you're not supposed to be in the barn. Come on. Out, out, out. Come on. You guys are mischief.
<laughs> come on, come on. You've proven that you cannot handle the responsibility of being able to be free range ducks. Come on, into the pen. Let's go. They've definitely reached their teenage years as ducklings, always up to mischief. It's one of the things I enjoy the most about the ducks. Like, they have such playful and mischievous personalities, but stop eating that fence, huh? It makes taking care of ducks a complete joy. Notice the geese have that same flapping wing behavior. They're about two weeks older than the ducklings that you saw just a minute ago. But from a development standpoint, they're about on par. So one of the biggest differences between ducks and geese is that the ducks are omnivores. They're opportunistic. Geese are grazers. Geese love the grass. To the goose, grass is like life. They forage and they eat as much grass as possible. So the reason I've got them kind of free ranging right now out here is I need to move their paddock. Usually during the day, I keep our geese in a paddock. Um, it keeps them safe from predators. It keeps them from wandering off too much. And they have been in this paddock now for about six days. And as you can see, they have pretty much trampled and eaten everything in here. This was where they were last week. You know, a couple of uh, videos ago, I had asked you guys for some suggestions for names for the goose tractors. And I got a ton of great suggestions. There were some really good Harry Potter references, Columbus, Nina Pinta Santa Maria type references. A lot of clever ideas that you guys had, but my favorite that a number of you guys threw out there was Larry, Moe, and Curly. So Larry, Moe, and Curly are the new names of the tractors. I will probably try to make signs at some point and put them up here. I had my eyes closed. Uh, but those are the names of the tractors. That was sure hot, Moe. So far, I've found that these tractors have done a very good job keeping the geese safe. We have a fair amount of predators here, whether they be bobcats, coyotes, mink, uh, raccoons, foxes, you know, any type of predator you can think of, we generally have around here. And uh, they have been keeping the geese safe. Oh boy. Looks like the geese are actually up over on my neighbor's lawn. I better get them off. <laughs> Come on, you geese, back on our property. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, come on, come on. Let's go, come on, come on. You know, one bit of sad news that I actually just have is just the other day, I had another issue with a duck. If you guys have been watching our channel, you might remember Twisty Duck. She was one of the ducks who was really badly injured by the mink attack and she actually lost the ability to move her neck in a normal way. I had been keeping her around and keeping her with her flock and she, while she was never gonna fully recover from a physical standpoint, she was doing okay and getting by. The other night I, I was going to put the ducks to bed and she was missing. And so I was looking around for her, looking around for her. I eventually found her in some grass. She had some slash marks on her back. Um, she was covered in flies, but at the same time, it didn't look like she was like really eaten or anything. My working theory is that she was attacked by like a hawk or an aerial predator, because these were like, grasps and cuts in the middle of her back. It's not something that a, a fox would do or a coyote or a raccoon. Again, I discovered her around seven o'clock at night. So yeah, sadly, uh, Twisty Duck is no longer with us. Um, she was a good little duck and she deserved a lot better. It was unfortunate. Ducks are just very susceptible to that sort of thing because they are literal sitting ducks, particularly when they don't have any water to escape to. Geese, on the other hand, are fierce, fierce creatures. Like, you know, they wouldn't 
be able to hold up against a coyote or a fox in a fight, but when you have a flock of like 30 of them all together, it's pretty intimidating for other animals. I just look at our barn cats and how scared they are of the geese. It's one of the real advantages actually to keeping the geese is that both the noise that they make and just their size and their general aggression towards predators um, can scare them away. Like I've seen them go after Pablo and hiss at them and beat their wings and, and they just have a very strong protective instinct. It's why a lot of people use geese as guard animals. Um, and so predator relationships are, are one of the biggest differences I've found between ducks and geese too. Look at that, they are just going to town, munching away on all that nice, nice grass. I would estimate that our geese get about 80% of their diet at this point from the grass. I barely feed them any grain. I only give them just a little bit of grain to get them to go to bed at night. For 31 geese, I feed them about a half as much grain as I do for 17, 18 ducks. And uh, the geese are just growing like crazy. And these are the meat animals. And I don't even feed my ducks all that much. Because it's summer, I have them out here foraging. And so their rations are cut from about half of what they're getting in the winter. A lot of complicated math I'm throwing at you guys. There is a problem on the board right now. That took us more than two years to prove. When it comes down to it, the geese eat very little and are very cheap to maintain as they grow and grow out here on the pasture. Release the quackage! Looks like I might be having a duck and goose encounter. I'm trying to slowly introduce these guys together. See, here's our duck pond. Uh, still a work in progress. You saw in a recent video, we, we dug out the pond here. Ultimately, I hope that this spring it fills up for the ducks when all the snow melts. But for right now, my main priority is just to try to get more grass and vegetation growing back down here so I don't have an erosion problem. What are you guys doing? Come on, get back to the grass. I'm not going to like dirt. Let's go. Come on. You know, I said earlier that the ducks are really playful, but it's not that the geese aren't playful either. I found them to be very friendly with me. And uh, they seem to like me. Again. As far as size difference goes, the geese are definitely much, much bigger than the ducks. Like at this point, these adolescent geese are maybe three or four times the size of the ducks. Okay, so here's the geese. Here's the ducks. And it's not even close, right? Ooh, here we have a little predator, a barn cat wandering around in the pond. <laughs> Now I know I wouldn't be able to get away with a duck update without letting you guys look for the broody ducks. Um, well, we got one right there. And we got, usually there's three sitting on that nest. I think two of them just came outside to get some water. Um, but we have plenty of ducks sitting on that one nest. And then we have Samuel Puddle Duck. So Samuel, who is the father of those two little white ducks that you saw up front, he has been staying in here non-stop and he has really been trying to protect all the broody ducks. Yeah, I know, you're broody. I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm leaving. Don't worry. I've, I've actually been trying to spend as little time in there as possible because I don't want to disrupt this. I'm really hoping that they hatch out some ducklings for me. It'd be very good to have just a few more ducklings here on the farm before we go into winter. Um, especially given the fact that we just lost another female with a twisty duck. Here we have little barn cat. Lil is terrified of these geese at this point. She's fascinated with them, but she's also kind of terrified. These things are probably weighing about 14, 15 pounds right now. And uh, Lil weighs about four pounds, maybe? She's a tiny little cat.
It's funny, when you watch the ducks, right? The drakes are very protective of the females. And they see a little barn cat out there. They sense her as a predator. Well, what are you doing? Does she have like a mouse? I don't know what her problem is. quite the standoff between the ducks, the geese, and the barn cat. It's one of the reasons why I love life on this farm. I feel like I'm living in a ongoing David Attenborough film. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. We have another barn cat goose interaction. We gotta capture this. For those of you that think that ducks and geese are very similar, I will say you're, you're wrong. They have their own personalities, their own attributes, their own quirks, but both of them are very rewarding to take care of. 